Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to see about the external features of the kidney. In only, Latin word rings or Greek word nephros means kidney. Coming to the introduction, kidneys are the pair of essential organs of excretory system situated on the posterior abdominal wall in the paravertebral gutter behind the peritoneum. Kidneys synthesize urine and remove the waste products from the blood. In this diagram, we can see the pair of kidneys situated on either side of the vertebral column. Coming to the excretory system, which is formed by pair of kidneys which synthesize urine. The urine which is synthesized is carried out by the pair of ureters towards the organ that is urinary bladder. Urinary bladder is situated in the pelvic cavity and it acts as the temporary reservoir of the urine. From the urinary bladder, urine is excreted out during maturation through a tube that is urethra. So this is all about the excretory system. Now coming to the location of the kidney. For the location of the abdominal organs, we divide the abdomen in the nine quadrants with the help of two vertical and two horizontal planes. The area where the umbilicus is situated is called umbilical region. Above the umbilical region is the epigastric region. Below the umbilical region is the hypogastric region. On either side of the epigastric region, we get hypochondriac region. On either side of umbilical region lies lumbar regions and on either side of the hypogastric region we get iliac regions. Now if we draw the outline of the left kidney it will be like this and if we draw the outline of the right kidney it will be like this. So from this diagram it is very clear that kidneys occupy all the four quadrants of the abdomen and they are epigastric region, hypochondriac region, umbilical region and lumbar region. Vertebral level, kidneys extend from the 12th thoracic vertebra to the level of 3rd th lumbar vertebra. Right kidney lies at the lower level than the left kidney. The reason behind that is kidneys when they develop, they are developed in the pelvic cavity and after that, they ascend in the abdominal cavity. The ascent of the right kidney is arrested earlier because of the presence of large solid liver on the right side. So, right kidney lies at the lower level than the left kidney. Left kidney is narrower, longer and nearer the median plane as compared to the right kidney. If we draw the transpyloric plane, this transpyloric plane passes through the upper part of the hilum of right kidney and the same transpyloric plane passes through the lower part of the hilum of the left kidney. Now coming to the axis of the kidney. Each kidney has two axes, long axis and the transverse axis. Long axis of the kidney is directed downwards and laterally so that upper poles of the kidneys lie nearer the median plane than the lower pole. Transverse axis for the transverse axis we will take the cross section of the abdomen. Here is the posterior abdominal wall. Here is the vertebral column. On either side of the vertebral column here we get paravertebral gutter. On this sloping surface of paravertebral gutter we get kidneys. So as kidneys are situated on the sloping surface, the transverse axis of both the kidneys is directed laterally and backwards. So that if we see the anterior surface of the kidney, it is directed anteriorly and laterally while the posterior surface of the kidney is directed posteriorly and medially. Now, Coming to the dimensions of the kidney, first about the shape of the kidney, kidneys are bean shaped. So 
when we are drawing the kidney we are drawing them in this way bean shape now coming to the size of the kidney vertical length of the kidney measures about 11 cm transverse breadth of the kidney measures about 6 cm while the antero posterior thickness of the kidney measures about 3 cm weight of the kidney in males weight, kidney weighs 150 grams while in females it weighs about 130 grams now coming to the factors keeping kidneys in position the first factor to keep the kidneys in position is pressure exerted by the neighboring viscera which is maintained by the tone of abdominal muscle it is kept in position by renal fascia and renal fat it is supported by pedicles of kidney that is nothing but renal vessels and pelvis of ureter which are attached to the hilum of the kidney now coming to the external features of the kidney here is the left kidney as both the kidneys are bean shaped here i have drawn only the left kidney to show the external features external features of right and left kidneys are same now coming to the external features each kidney has two poles upper pole and lower pole now here is the upper pole upper pole of the kidney is broader and it lies 2.5 cm away from the median plane while the lower pole of the kidney is pointed and it lies 7.5 cm away from the midline at the same time this lower pole lies 2.5 cm above the highest point of the iliac crest now coming to the borders each kidney has two borders lateral border this is the lateral border which is convex and thick and medial border this is the medial border which shows the presence of hilum in the middle and at the hilum structures from before backward we get renal vein renal artery and pelvis of ureter now coming to the surfaces of the kidney kidney has two surfaces anterior surface this is the anterior surface which is irregular which is directed anteriorly and laterally and posterior surface this is the posterior surface which is almost flat and directed posteriorly and medially so this is about the external features of the kidney thank you for watching